Hey guys, what's going on? Culprit here, and I wanted to follow up uh, right away uh, from my last video where I checked in with you guys, kind of letting you know where I'd been, uh, what my kind of course for the summer is going to be, uh, with a follow-up video with the mailbag. Uh, I let uh, the guys on Facebook ask me a couple questions. I was supposed to do it in the last video, I didn't quite get it, and then you guys actually put a couple good questions in the comments of the last video, so I wanted to answer them. They seemed like fun, and uh, we're going to just get into it. I have 12 questions here, so I'm going to try to be kind of concise about it. Um, I'm not going to do any fancy production where I overlay the the, uh, the question for you to read or whatever. I'm just going to read it off and go. I don't want this to be too long, and we all know me. I can talk and I can carry on, so I don't want it to be too, too long. So let's get right into it, shall we? So the first question I actually got uh, asked quite a few times about Airsoft. You know, how about some Airsoft videos? Whatever happened to Airsoft? Whatever. Um, nothing yet. Uh, the, the plan was all along. Uh, we weren't going to do it during the winter because Airsoft in the winter is kind of sucky, and there's not many places to do it. So it was planned for the spring. Obviously, Airsoft, just like everything else in my life right now, is kind of backburnered. Just don't have time. Uh, but yeah, it's still, I mean, I, I still want to do it, and it's still in the plans with me and my buddy Diggs. It's just a matter, you know, we're both in the same situation. We're both, you know, fathers, husbands. Uh, my man just bought a house, so he's got even less time right now, and I'm helping him out, obviously, with that stuff. And, uh, you know, work. So uh, time is sparse, but that is, um, that is kind of on the radar, hopefully. Um, as far as airsoft videos, that's going to be a little more difficult because that involves getting either like a contour camera or a GoPro, that type of thing, which I don't know if that's really in the budget right now. So even if I go, I don't know if I'll have footage, but I should have some stories and these types of things. I mean, I can probably take some iPhone videos, that kind of stuff. We'll see. But it's definitely in the mix. I just don't know when and if it will happen, but it's something I really want to do. Um, now I'm going to get into individual questions. Aaron Riley, how soon after release, if at all, will you be buying a next-gen console and why? Um... Not sure. Uh, first of all, it depends when. Uh, listen, guys, I'm not made of money. If these didn't come out for the holidays, that is, you know, for, for a lot of people, that's great. You're asking for gifts. For me, that's a really bad time because I'm buying a lot of gifts. <laughs> so there's not much budget there. I wouldn't ask for one for kind of my, my, my gift. Um, and I think my sons are a little too young for me to rationalize or justify buying it for them just yet. So probably would be, uh, let's just say 2014 in there somewhere. Uh, ideally, I think for myself, if I can resist, is to kind of just wait until that first, you know, the prices are always really high when it comes out. Maybe that first drop. We'll see. I don't know. Um, if a game comes along that I really want to play or something like that, maybe a YouTube opportunity, that might push me sooner. But typically right now, um, not immediately. Uh, I just see no reason. I would rather take that budget. You know, I'm projecting that's good. they're going to be around 500 bucks. I'd rather take that budget maybe and put it into my PC. Um, but uh, we'll see. And Y is going to be probably more for my sons. Uh, but right now I have my PlayStation 3. Uh, that works adequately enough. I picked up the Lego games for them, those types of series. So, I mean, I don't really need a huge reason to upgrade. Don't have an Xbox right now. I would like to, but let's see how it shakes out. Uh, I really don't even know which one. I'll probably just buy one. I will not buy both. Again, buying one right now is probably a stretch for me, so I certainly won't buy both. Uh, Mark Brennan, most underrated FPS of the last five years. In his honest, in his opinion, it is Homefront. That's a good choice, actually. Um, I did not really enjoy Homefront. I felt like I had a lot of issues. I believe I played Homefront on PS3. Could be part of the reason why. I don't know. Um, but it did have a lot of innovation, and I would like to see more of the elements of Homefront come over to other games. So I'm not going to necessarily disagree with you there. Um, I'm going to go with the pretty lame of, of Battlefield 3 for me. Um, I still think, I honestly do think it's underrated. I think it's just a phenomenal game. Um, I think it gets a bad rap on some things. I, I, think, I think it was really just... I do think it was an evolution, a step in evolution of FPS. It just fit me really well. I enjoyed the heck out of it, but I'm going to try to pick another one. I mean, that's five years, first-person shooter. I know nothing's really jumping on my mind because I didn't play. I didn't personally play a lot. Um, I could certainly see a home front would fit that glove, but for me, it would be Battlefield 3. I know that's not really cool. Maybe you could go I mean, is it, does it fit in the five years? Modern Warfare 2? Is, is that the one that are... Or, COD 4, I guess, that everybody went crazy about. Just not for me, though. I didn't really play it. I would try to play it a little bit, but I was obviously after the time. Good question, though. Uh, number four, real question. What if cross-platform competition comp competition play? What of it? Uh, since all sources should be close to computers, can it be done? Would it be beneficial to developers? Um, this is tricky. We're probably as close as we've been with this between PCs, let's say PC, Xbox, PS3, um, as far as just hardware tiers. Um, they're still going to lag behind, so there's obviously some balance issues there. I think probably the biggest issue is going to be input device, you know, uh, controllers. Whereas, you know, uh, if you're going to have consoles playing with PCs, well, do we have aim assist? Do we not have aim assist? These types of things, um, I think it would be easier to do PS3 versus Xbox. 
But would those guys really let that do it? They like to have their little fenced off areas so that they can entice people to play one way or the other. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I, again, I don't really see it as PC uh, to consoles because it's only good. You know, right now, as the consoles come out, they're going to be as close as they're ever going to be to a PC. Every day after release, the, the gap is going to widen again. That's just the way it is. So um, if it's not done right around release, it's probably not going to get done or it might get done. Somebody's going to do it as like a kind of a catch a hook. Maybe uh, I think it's already been done on consoles. Um, but I don't see it being really uh, something that's going to really, you know, go huge. Uh, it's a good idea. If someone could figure out how to do it, it would be very interesting. That's for sure. Uh, question five, Fofi 9753, what happened to your Timber and Stone Let's Play on the other channel? For these who don't know, he's referring to my Let's Play channel, uh, Culprit Gaming. I had a pretty long Let's Play of a game called Timber and Stone. I think I put one video on here. I enjoyed the heck out of that game. Um, I was doing a Let's Play for beta, and basically right around release, I, I stopped that Let's Play because the, uh, the, the new builds weren't... Uh, compatible with my save game so i just i kind of ended that let's play it was really gearing up to do a second one right on release day and go and i was poised to do it um what happened combination of things i actually had technical difficulties um right around launch day and that whole week basically what would happen is my save games were corrupting so i actually started the let's play and then a save i had i had an issue i had bugs i had crashes which corrupted my saves so i was like whoa i'm taking it easy here it was something it got fixed eventually but I, could, I didn't want to start a Let's Play and get like four or five, six episodes in and suddenly lose my save file. So I just was like, yo, I'll chill out for a week, two, until it got it could sorted. Um, I didn't think there was any rush. <laughs> and then I'll start. And uh, what happened was, what's happened with everything else? Airsoft, YouTube, everything. Life got crazy. And, and I apologize for that. And I, I, it's on the radar. It's something I want to do. Um, I think I was a little burnt out too, to be honest. Um, I put in, Jesus, 60 hours in that game in two or three weeks. I played a lot of it. Um, and I, I think at this point now, I'm kind of waiting for the feature list to get a little bigger, like a little newer for me to get back in it. But I will definitely be playing that game again, and you can see it over on that channel. It'll probably be a couple over on this channel, too, over the course of the summer. Uh, number six, uh, Pumpkin Phoenix. Woo, mailbag. What do you think about this Battlefield survey thing for BF4? Darn it. I forgot to look this up. I meant to Google this. I don't know anything about it. Um, but I'll tell you this. It's probably an empty promise. You know. A survey now we're may uh, this game's supposed to be out october that's not very far away guys what you don't realize is you know they don't they don't work on the game right up until release i mean it's i don't see how anything you input to them it, through a survey now is really going to have any effect on the actual game what they're going to do is they're going to cite this survey as saying you know when release comes and why is this in why'd you do this they're gonna well this survey said you wanted it when in fact the survey had nothing to do with it they were designing it that way anyway this is either going to be you know just a kind of an excuse is how i would think it a uh, placebo effect maybe calm the hordes that kind of thing i really don't see them taking our input and, and you know what frankly uh you know dice have enough of a track record uh lineage of games they don't really need our input um, I, I do trust in them for that. I have worries about Battlefield 4, don't get me wrong, but I, I overall I have trust in them. Um, it's their support that I have a lot of uh, questions to. Um, question 7, all the aces. Uh, thoughts, opinions on Planet Side 2? I get asked this a lot, actually. I have none. I've never played it. Uh, I th actually, I shouldn't say never. I, I think I logged in for maybe a half hour way back during, I guess it was their beta. Um, here's the thing, it gets too close to an MMO for me, I do not have time for MMOs, and I, you know, it's one of those games where if you don't invest a lot of time, you don't get the returns. Now, it's unfortunate because I do have 008 guys that play, I probably could get grouped up with some people, but I think I've just recognized from the beginning that, uh, I just don't have the time for it. And, uh, another thing, as I've said to you guys a lot of times, futuristic-y type of games, they just do not turn my head. They're just not for me, it's just not something I'm really that interested in. So it just kind of... You know, I've kind of taken a wait-and-see uh, approach on it, and I just haven't had that feeling like I'm missing something. So, for now, I don't have a thought. I don't have opinions. I, I Free-to-play games, I will always root for them. I will support them. Just not seeing me play it. I'm not going to say never, though. Uh, question 8. Dan Van Leest. Uh, how about a shooting range in BF4 so you can practice with your gun and test attachments for what fits you the best? Also, it would be cool to put some targets, obstacles on, shooting range. Um... You know, everybody understands what he's saying. It's in other games. I just don't see a need for it. I think that's pretty much what TDM is. I would much rather shoot other people. Um, and I mean, you can kind of do this. At least on PC, you can get on an empty server, run around, shoot things. I do it all the time. Uh, I go on like Grand Bazaar and shoot lights, this type of thing, when I want to test certain things. Um, so I don't really see... I mean, I don't think it would be a huge project for them. Um, so, you know, couldn't hurt. Um, that kind of stuff. Um, 
uh, yeah, I just don't see a huge need for it personally. Um, number nine, Jonathan Julio. Um, sorry if I mispronounce your names. How about a real quick? Oh, this one. This one was good. This this one was good. I got this question on my on my iPhone while I was at work. You know, it tells you to comment. I read it, and I was like, damn. That's a pretty good question, and so I, I thought about it a little bit, so I have an answer for you. Um, how about a real mind-blowing question? Let's say someone gives you a book, and you begin to read it. Uh, you realize that this goes through your life, and you've read up to where you are in life today. So I read up to the present day, me sitting here doing you a video. Uh, the question is, would you continue to read through it and see how your life goes, or would you stop reading at that point? Now, um, you know, I've kind of thought this through, and I've gone down all different paths and alleys and tried to figure things out, and I keep returning to the same answer, in that... Um, if I was able to read ahead on my life and, uh, you know, no spoiler alert on anybody else, I would do it because I don't have that discipline. I don't, I don't have that self-control. The problem is, is that I would kind of spoilerize other people's lives. I can't read my life and not find out what happens to my wife, my boys. And, and, you know, I just wouldn't do that because you want those people to live normal lives. And it's like, what happens if I read ahead and five years from now, my oldest son gets killed in a car wreck? Well, it doesn't happen for five, even ten years. That ruins your life right today. <laughs> it ruins your life. You're going to live your life in fear. So, um, same same idea. If I read ahead and find out I die of cancer in seven years. Well, I'm the type of guy that if that were to end up occurring, I would rather live six of those seven years as a normal life. Just a normal guy. And give as much of a normal childhood to my boys and my wife and all that. I, I would like the, the, the warning, you know, that where I could proper goodbyes and spend some final time with people that I really care about but uh i wouldn't want to know that far ahead so no i wouldn't i i say my designs would be to not read further but i don't know if i have the discipline i'd probably have to like, go burn the book to uh keep myself from doing it. But cool question though i might actually steal this question for one of the podcasts i do intend to do maybe I should, yeah I, that, that's a cool discussion point it's kind of cool concept so question 10 moving right along i have to sorry uh number 10 larry g uh 666 what is your choice of beer for the summer uh goodness gracious beer i do remember what beer is uh i i enjoy beer i don't really have like a one beer i i, I go in and if i find something on a shelf i haven't drank before that's the beer i'm buying that's just how i am i like to experiment now i mean i like i know what kind of styles i like so i don't go and go crazy like i'm not a pale ale guy i don't like hops i don't like the bitter taste it's just not me i'm more of a darker uh beer guy uh you know you give me a good stout or uh, you know something like that but that's not really a summer drink so i mean if you're looking for my like, like what's in my fridge at all times kind of thing it's usually summer uh excuse me sam adams whatever their variety is of, of that season and if you're familiar with sam adams they put out something basically every season so i'll probably have sam adams summer uh, i just enjoy it it's kind of it's like the cheapest I'll go. You know that, that's what, that's my swill. That's my Budweiser. Is Sam Adams because I don't really I cannot drink Budweiser, Coors Light, all those. It's just terrible beer, guys. I'm sorry. I did in college. Don't get me wrong. And when you're drinking to get drunk, perfectly fine, no problem with it. But I don't do that so much anymore. I drink to enjoy it. So that's about as low as I go. Sam Adams, and that's kind of my stock beer. But I always have like other varieties around. I enjoy a variety, and and like the the nichier and the more micro brew I can find, the better. Um, so yeah, hard to say, but I'll be all over the place, but probably for what you're asking, probably gonna be like Sam Adams, Summer Ale, something like that. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good bet. Uh, number 11, Ryan Conway, question, if you could be in a meeting, <laughs> this is funny, if you could be in a meeting with Dice and you could only ask one question, what would it be? Pretty simple, hire me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't, that wouldn't work anyway, because that would cause reload, relocating to Europe, or as they just opened in, in California. Uh, hire me for a lot of money so I can relocate my family. Maybe I, I don't know. Uh, let me hire me and let me rem work remotely. Or you know what? Let me be your community manager because I can't do any worse of a job than the other clown just did. Um, yeah, that would be it. Let me be your community manager. Uh, I can handle it. I have a thick skin. But uh, if I could ask them one question, what would it be? Uh, probably you know. I, I mean, I would seriously ask them to hire me in some form. But. Uh, Stay true to to the the path you're going. Um, I know some people are gonna cry and say Battlefield Three is nothing like Battlefield Two. I understand that. Um, I've I've said many times I personally am more akin to Battlefield Three than Battlefield Two. Um, so, but just like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't reinvent the wheel. All these cliches. Battlefield Three was incredible to me. So keep it there. Build on that. That that's that's basically what I would ask them. Don't f it up. Don't try to get too cute with it basically um and I, that would be probably quite an interesting conversation uh and the last question is going to be Juan Enrique 
Uh, will you be getting Grand Theft Auto 5, or are there any major titles maybe you're look interested in that are coming out during the fall, like The Last of Us or Watch Dogs? Um, sorry about the weird reading, because copying and pasting from the YouTube into this notepad, it just put weird spaces and question marks and things. Um, Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, yes, I mean, all these games are on my radar. Uh, typically, games like this, I kind of take a wait and see things. Um, I'm, I'm trying not to buy things on release day, as we've seen that can be a bad idea. Um, again, YouTube kind of does influence me to try and get in on these things ahead of time. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, I've loved and I've kind of been underwhelmed with in the past, so I'm going to wait and see a lot more. Uh, certainly on the radar, though, I've enjoyed it. It's one that I'm looking forward to if, if they deliver and what we all hope and expect. But I'm also prepared that it's just going to be kind of a money grab, so we'll see. We, we need to know more about it. Probably the one I'm most is Watch Dogs, or the most anticipating most intrigued by i would say would be watchdogs but that, I'm, a, I'm a technical nerd and that kind of stuff so i i like that whole just the whole story that I, from what i've gotten i'm not very up on these games at all so i and i do that purposely i stay away because the more i dive in and watch trailers and these types of things the more i want to get the games right now give me take my money you know so i, I kind of keep them at arm's length um uh, and, and you guys know I'm more of a uh, deeper, like, single, one game, deeper focus than I am, you know, spread out a multitude of games. So for me to kind of pick a game and go is, is unusual for me. Last of Us, I, I know what the game is. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm, I'm really not a big single player game kind of guy. And when I do do a single player, it's usually like a simulator or something like that. I just get bored with single player games. As you've seen on my Let's Play channel, I try to do it and I just, I, I kind of don't finish because it gets very repetitive to me. And, and I feel like you have to do too much work a lot of times to actually get the story. So these are all intriguing games. Certainly they're on my radar. And there's, I won't rule out you seeing them at all. Um, I, I hope you see them all. It means they're all really good games. Um, as far as other games, it's, uh, yeah, I don't even know. Uh, I'm kind of out of the loop at this point. Again, intentionally. Um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to think of what else is out there. That I'm sure there's some that as soon as I hit the, stop the record button, I'm going to think of some. But, no, good question. Chance you can see them all. I hope you see them all. Um, if anything, you might see them on my uh, Let's Play channel. But... There you go, guys. We're hitting about 17 minutes, so this is long, but it's actually shorter than I thought it was going to be. I tried to go through them very quickly, but uh, thanks a lot, guys. These are pretty good questions, pretty fun, and I, I kind of wanted to do a big one to you guys to let uh, make up to you for being absent for so long. Um, I'm definitely going to try to keep this kind of the mailbag format for sure going weekly as something you can kind of count on as we kind of bounce around on all kinds of other videos for the summer. Either way, guys, hope you enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. I'm going to do my best. The weather's supposed to be really nice, so... We're going to get out and have some fun, and I will talk to you soon, guys. Take care.